You have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? Do Ryan and I look like the fucking with you type? It's all true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <sighs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Shit. The foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. Yeah, sorry. Being around memories of Gabe was making you so sad. I wanted to help. You did. I'm just surprised. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No, but she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the... Ah, Colorado tap water. I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? Best job I've ever had. Not that the competition is super fierce. So many memories of Gabe I didn't get to make. Glad I was able to help, but I think I'll pass on the kisses. How do these birdwashing contests even work? Who's checking the sightings? In your you face, Ryan Lucan. I'm Birder of the Year, and Ryan your reign is ever. finished. Uh-oh. Better not tell Ryan I had a hand in that.
wish Riley never found out about my condition. She needs to focus on her future, not mine. Riley found out? I wonder what this means for them. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. Hey, is everything okay with you and Riley? For the most part. She's pushing herself too hard helping me. I just want her to focus on her own life now. Let me know what I can do. You've done so much already. I'm grateful, Alex. Where are you, girl from Rome? Gosh, I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird, I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Where are you, girl from Rome? Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Maybe I can encourage her. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh. Well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that. Thanks. Trust me, you're not alone. Sorry, Steph, but there can only be one jukebox hero. Welcome. I'll be right with you. I better check in with Stefan Ryan. is. Same thing every year. Tonight's the spring festival. I wonder what's wrong. Hey, Ducky. Is everything okay? Of course. I've never felt better. Okay. Glad to hear it.
Ducky almost hustled me out of my first paycheck. Good thing Jed stepped in. Stay alive while you're at work. You're kidding. You already got to burning cliffs. Wait. Hey. Getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, hey. Yeah. Trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. I really do. Is everything okay? Sorry. Let's talk later. It's gonna be a long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. What the hell am I gonna do with a jacket that says Hell Divers on the back? Jeez, I don't know, boss man. Maybe you could wear it, like the rest of us are gonna do. You think I want to broadcast my affiliation with you jokers to the rest of the world? I got a reputation. The Spring Festival is nigh. Nigh, I say. Jed's such a liar. Jed's such a liar. Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar. Sorry, Steph, but there could Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit, blast from the past, Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Eventually, Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet. Thanks. Hey, boss. Do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh, hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. Sorry, Jed. The people have spoken. All right. Let's hear this infamous song. Daydreams. That's it. How the hell? Don't worry about it. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans, actually. But we're still workshopping them. What does workshopping mean, exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up. Not important. 
that's your plan. Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. <laughs> okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. You're a total smoke show, Steph, but for Diane, I think Ryan is a good choice. This Ryan? This is like a bad dream. Look, I appreciate the, the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? You know all I want is justice for my brother. Help me. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac. But let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. I should try reading Diane's emotions before we go any further. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She's sad. If I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, Maybe I can find out more. Oh, such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. They're adorable. William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to him. <laughs> really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. Of all the people this could have happened to, why'd it have to be him? That's a nice cross. Oh, thanks. Of all the people this could have happened to, Why'd it have to be him? Do you have, um, enough napkins for the table? Uh, yeah. I'm fine, thanks. Typhon does a lot of local hiring, huh? We're always growing. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. A month 
later and I can still feel the void he left behind. Are you joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. He was practically a father to Ethan. And now he's gone. It's just so fucked up. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right. That's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. to find out what Diane is really hiding. Hello? Miss Jacobs? It's Deputy Pike. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What kind of accident? He came here looking for a better life, just like me. He's gone. I'm still here. Wait. There's something else. I can't undo what Typhon did, or the role I played, but at least I have everything I need to protect myself from them. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Ryan, what's up? Well, if you're free later, I was thinking we could go on a hike together. There's some beautiful trails up in the mountains. Oh, that sounds like a nice idea. in the mountains with this handsome fella? Sounds like a date. How long have you been planning this, you devil? Oh, uh, well, to be honest, I've been wanting to ask you ever since you showed up in Haven. Truth be told. So, what do you say? Hey, no rush. He's not going anywhere. Mull it over. Get back to him. Anyway, gotta go. <laughs> See ya. Insane? My 
my heart is pounding. <laughs> Ryan, real talk. I think Diane actually wants you. I know, I can't believe it. <laughs> hey. <gasps> oh, man. You guys, oh, that was hilarious. Oh my God. I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? Is the guitar really necessary? What? How can you be a bard without a guitar? The bard's whole job is to musically regale people. Well then, prepare to be regaled. So, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right. I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Wow. Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in death of local man at the hands of Typhon explosions. Steph, I will murder you. We're one step closer now. A housewarming gift from Eleanor. She said Gabe loved these little dudes. No son. Life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. I feel like I kept the hat in here. Huh. There it is. Oh, hi there. Now what do you unlock? Half person, half dump truck. I feel, yeah, I don't need to know what that was for. Another one of Gabe's hidden cans. Dork. Steph knows how to LARP on a budget. I hope Ethan likes it. Oh shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special to Gabe. Never know when you'll need a light. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. I found some really cute photos of Gabe and Ethan on this thing. 
This feather separates the buskers from the bards. Okay, just need to grab my guitar now. A dire rat joined your party. I didn't even know what to say when Charlotte gave this to me. How do you even respond to such a perfect gift? I'm really glad my advice helped. Leave it to me to wreck Gabe's bike on my first ride. At least Ryan had a good laugh about it. One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. Yikes. This garden is looking gnarly. I haven't played for anyone else in years. That was a good night. So far, Ryan is the only one that uses this. Maybe I should just gift it to him. Maybe I can clean you up a bit. Look, man, if you want to live here, you need to do your own dishes. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but it felt like I had to do something. Okay, I better find Ethan right away. Alex the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey. I don't need, like, cheering up or whatever. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... Steph's been planning this for days and days. She really cares about you. I do want to do this. It's just... <sighs> Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. Must be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. Yeah, especially my mom. She always looks so <sighs> sad. Cause I'm like bummed out, but I can't just pretend. So, don't pretend. Just be yourself. Or yourself with a foam sword and a funny hat. But what if I'm still, you know, not having fun? Then don't. That's fine too. No one will be disappointed in you for being you. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Thanor, the monster slayer. Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh, sure. A horde of ogres, that's a lot. Thanor slew them with a single shot. My goodness. You must be Thanor's bard, Alexandra, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But this hope, an ancient prophecy, describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom, survive whatever's out there, and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Good. Then you must go, now. My people are counting on you. Should we start with the main road? Okay. Time to find some jewels. This is kind of exciting.
How do Is that a scroll of paper? What is that? It's a magic scroll we can use in fights. Oh, awesome. We We should find as many as we can. Wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. Stirring him. Double Thanor's next attack. Untuned cord, <coughs> one damage. <coughs> Loot! Oh, cool! I learned a magic attack! <laughs> one damage to allies? Better be nice to Thanor. This key is for. Maybe it unlocks. Oh, I must look like such a goofball. So much for being hot. Hot and goofball are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. It was self defense. How do we know for sure it's dead? Should we tickle it? Stop it. Be serious. I swung over the top once. No way. Prove it. I'll give you a dollar if you can. I did! I don't have to prove it. I'm gonna tell my mom you called me a liar. <laughs> Do it. Gabe, you would have really had fun with all this. Found a scroll? Yeah. Let's go to the peach. Hmm. It's cute, right? I've got another scroll. Well, now, who do we have here? Thanor the Monster Slayer, and my bard. And what you up to, Thanor? Saving your lives. There's monsters out there. Orcs and minotaurs and such. Be careful. Sounds dangerous. 
How about a dragon? Aren't I supposed to be the one teaching you? Hey, hey, what's all this? Too busy to talk right now. Sorry. Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. To some. I can't remember the last time I had this much fun. That makes two of us. I know this guy. He's one of Steph's co-workers. Hey, let's hear your riddle. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead, fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. How are we supposed to know that? Maybe we can look for some clues. You know, every time I close my eyes, my brain pulls up all these thoughts, these regrets. So I just lie there, crying and feeling like a horrible person. You mentioned regrets. Can you drill down on that? What is it that you regret? I don't know. I'm not sure of anything right now. What's that about? Can we hear that riddle again, please? There are three, it is said, heroes long dead. Fashioned into soul jewels, blue. Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. What are their names? Do not be misled. I would gladly work at a place called Gullweather's Tavern. Wanna look in here? Yeah. Let's go in. <laughs> 